All right, so there's many ways to do this, but I'm just gonna show you one that's pretty simple to use. You can use this small bin in your kitchen. Keep it in your kitchen. After your meal, you have some food scraps, put them in here. It is odor resistant. Leave it in here. Um, on your recycling day, when you go out to put, put out your recycling, empty the contents of this bin into that one. You could put a bag in this brown bin. Uh, you don't need to put a bag in the brown bin. Um, and leave that out on the curb. And we will come collect it every single week. If you don't want to use um, this small container for your kitchen, think, uh, another thing people like to do is um, save their food scraps in a plastic bag, throw it in the freezer, and then once a week on your recycling day, put it in the brown bin, and we come to collect it. Um, and I also just want to stress, organic material is food waste, but it's also yard waste. Anything that comes from your yard, leaves, twigs, plants, like I know right now is a big time for people who have yards to be doing their gardening. So anything that comes out of your garden, throw in one of these brown bins. Don't put it out with your trash. Put it on your recycling day and we will come pick it up. It won't sit in the landfill. It's the right thing to do. Um, and we are very encouraged that so many Queens residents in the first two weeks of the program have participated. We have taken so much organic waste out of the landfill already with this program. We've taken over a million pounds in the first two weeks just in the borough of Queens. We want to roll this out beyond Queens. In order to do that, we need a lot of participation in Queens. We need to show that this is a viable program that's going to work for New Yorkers. And we're well on our way to doing that, but every extra bit counts. Thank you, Commissioner.